Good afternoon. I am uh, Evangelist Mercedes. I want to say Stratford and London belong to Jesus Christ. Amen. This land belongs to Jesus Christ. Amen. We are proclaiming the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Romans chapter 5a he says, But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. You don't have to do anything for God to love you. He already loved you. Before you were born, he loved you. Amen. And the Bible says we were born sinners. Even when we were a child, we were sinners before the Lord. So today is a chance for you to come to the Lord who loves you. He loved you before he, you even knew there was a God. You know there is a God who loved you and created you at his image and likeness. And today we are bringing the good news of Jesus Christ that he died because he loved you and resurrected on the third day for you and died for your sins so that you can be redeemed today. And by his blood we have been redeemed. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him and only through him we can live. And this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. So yes, he was the atoning sacrifice for our sins. And in order to be reconciled to God, we must come to Jesus Christ. Amen. He is the way, the truth, and the life that reconciled the world to God again. Because we were once separated from God, but now we can be reconciled to God through Jesus Christ. Some people ask the question, how could God sacrifice his own son for our salvation? If he can do all things, why didn't he just save us? But the answer is, God made a covenant with Abraham. And in this covenant, he said to him, I am God Almighty, walk before me blamelessly. I will confirm my covenant between you and me and will increase your numbers. But in order to this covenant, this agreement to be fulfilled, Abraham and his descendants would have be blameless before the Lord, walking blameless before the Lord. But no one could do such a thing. The only one who could walk blameless before the Lord was Jesus Christ. Amen. So the only one who sealed the covenant between Abraham and God was Jesus Christ. He was the only one who could fulfill the covenant and start a new covenant. And this is what we call the new covenant. So yes, God made a covenant, an agreement with Abraham. And this could only be fulfilled through the blood of Jesus Christ. In the old time, times, an agreement could only be fulfilled so that both parts would uh, fulfill the agreement. If in any of the parts does not fulfill the agreement, then one of the past should die. And this is what happened. So Jesus Christ died for our sins so that we could be saved, so that our soul could be saved. He fulfilled the old covenant of Abraham for us. So today I'm calling to all of you, it's time, there is time to come to Jesus Christ today. It is the good news of the gospel that by his grace and through faith, we can enter the kingdom of God. And that is the only kingdom that we should be aiming for. That is the kingdom that we should live for. The kingdom of heaven, where we are going after we die. There is a second death, but also there is life. There is eternal life in Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah.